Okay, so here we are on the Let's Socify dashboard. Now, from here, we're going to go to Campaigns, and this is where we're able to send a new notification. So we're going to click New Notification. And here is where I'm actually going to type my notification message. So I'm going to say, hey, and then I want to put a first name in here so that I can really get it personalized to the person it's going to. And I'm going to say, have you seen the latest in Facebook? Oh, let's do a capital. In Facebook marketing. And then I'm going to use a little emoticon here, which is fun give it a little emotion. We're going to do this smiley face. And here's where you're going to put the redirect URL. So when they click on the notification, it's going to redirect to here. So for this one, we're going to do socialify.com. So that's going to actually take them to the sales page, for example. And then at this point, you could go ahead and click send notification. But I want to go into the advanced options and show you a little bit more in here. You can schedule the notification just like so. You would be able to select, let's say, send it today. Let's say we want to send it at 2200. And then you can select the time zone here. Or if you want to make this really easy on yourself, just click Make Adaptive. And that way, this will send the notification to the recipient at their local time at 2200. So if they're on the East Coast in America, it's going to go at 2200. If they're in New Zealand, it's going to go at 2200, just like that super easy. You can also send to all subscribers or filters or segments. But for now, we're going to remove these because I'm just going to send the notification as is. Okay, there it is. I'm going to click send notification. It's going to give you this one. Go ahead and click send. Woot, your campaign is being pushed. Now you know it's going out. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And I'm going to pop over to my Facebook to show you what we have here. And there it is. So in order to load this into a new window, I'm going to hold Command, Command or Control, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. So I'm going to hold Command. Okay, there you go. Just give that a little pause. <laughs> And there you can see it right up here. Okay, so say for example that somebody's going to opt into your list. They're going to click allow. This is what they're going to see. Uh, I, I actually already subscribed. So because I've already subscribed, it'll say you've already subscribed. Otherwise, you'll see a little check mark. Okay, so we're going to come over here to subscribers. And this is the information that you get when somebody opts in. So you get all of this information and their email address. So you get all of this. You get their name, email address, gender, when it was created, meaning when they were opted in, the category, the country, the city, and the Windows platform, meaning you get their Facebook profile information and you get their Facebook email address, which means that you can now retarget them on Facebook and via email. That's what we call the double Dutch method. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the real power of Let's Socify, and that's with automation. So let's go into automation. First, there is an RSS feed URL that you can add, but I'm going into notification sequence. This is where we can set up our automated sequences. So I'm going to click Create New Sequence, and I'm going to add a sequence. We're just going to call it Let's Socify Reveal Test. I'm going to send it to a certain segment, and the segment I'm sending it to are people who have already seen the first video in this sequence. So I'm going to send it to existing subscribers, and I've selected my segment, and then I click Next. So I'm going to add a sequence. I can either start from scratch or load a pre-built module. I'm going to start from scratch on this one so I can show you how it's done. So you start with this notification here. I'm going to go ahead and select Notification Message. I'm going to show you the first one. All right, so I have gone ahead and typed in my notification message. It's your second video for dominating Facebook notifications goes live today. Don't miss it. Then in the notification redirect URL, I'm going to go ahead and put the URL, which is going to be here, letsocify.com, which is leading them back to the pre-launch page. I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to take and pull in a clock. And I'm going to connect the clock to my notification. This is going to allow me to set the time that the next notification is going to go out. I'm going to have it go out 
We're going to select five hours and one minute, and I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to pull in my next notification. This is going to be my next one. I'm going to collect, connect the clock here, and I go into the little pencil to edit it, and then this is where I'm going to set up my next notification message. Now, so you don't have to sit here and wait for me to type. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get this filled out and then come back right to, come right back to you. Okay, so I've got my next notification typed up. It's hey, and I'm going to put their first name in there so that it's nice and personal for them. Double Dutch method revealed. Watch your next video and sign up for our webinar. And then in the notification redirect URL, I am leading them to the actual video itself. For those of you who are into video, this is absolutely powerful. I'm going to click save, and I'm going to go on to my next message. I'm going to edit to go in here. I'm going to go ahead and select that two days later because this is part of pre-launch. I'm going to click save. I'm going to go ahead and send them the next message. So I'm going to set that up. Go into edit. Again, type the notification message and I'm going to pause this. Okay, so my next notification message is going to be, hey, I'm going to put their first name. The Dominate Facebook notification webinar is starting soon. Sign up free. And of course, I put in these extra little icons to show you what you can do with this system. And then the notification redirect URL, I'm leading them back to the video again. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Pull another clock in. And just in case they didn't click on that first one, I'm going to select this one here so that if they didn't click, I'm going to lead them to another notification message for that opportunity right when the webinar is starting because I don't want them to miss that opportunity. So you drag the red red button as they didn't click. Okay, notification message. I'm going to type that in. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my notification message if they did not click on the previous one. And that's the Dominate notific Facebook notification webinar is starting now. Sign up free with some exclamation points. And then this one is redirecting to the video again. I'm going to click Save. And now I have a notification sequence. You can see that this is going to go out auto, all automatically based on the times that I have selected them to go. Whether it's six hours later, two days later, one minute later, I'm going to click Save Funnel. It looks like I missed a, a value here, so I'm going to go ahead and need to put in when it's going to go out. Looks like that's on my funnel where I need to select one hour later. I'm going to save that. Okay, now it's saved, and now you just click Start Funnel right here to get it going. Okay, so I've started the funnel. Now I'm going to go and show you the analytics. So I'm going to go into this funnel right here, Analytics, and this is where you can see how many. Now I've actually already begun the funnel, so this shows you how many have pushed. I sent it out at a time when most of my people are sleeping, but I just wanted to get this done. And you can see here, I've got how many were pushed, how many were delivered, how many were clicked, and how many were uniquely clicked. And you can see also these other ones that are going to be going out, you can see that they're not yet pushed, not yet delivered, not yet clicked, and then you can see that nothing is over here as well. So you can come down here and see this one, the dominant phase. This is my next one that's going to go out and my next one that's going to go out. So you can see how that works. Now, if you go into this little icon right here, that's report. And that's going to show you more details here about what's being reported. It also, you can come down here and see your platform segmentation. You can see that most of my people are using a Mac. And you can see the device segmentation. You can see they're all on a desktop and browser segmentation, Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. And let's look at where in the world they're clicking. All right, we've got some people over here in India clicking. We've got the Philippines. So you can take a look. France, we've got some people. And then here, you've got them laid out again in geography. So that shows you what we're doing here with the segmentation and also the reporting. Okay, so you see Let Socify and how powerful it is. Now let's talk a little bit about the application. You can use this for any internet marketing. If you're marketing at all in the internet, you should be using Let Socify. You can use it for e-comp if you're wanting to lead people to a Shopify store, a website to get your products. Any physical products, fantastic product to use. Consulting, if you've got a consulting business, you want to keep in touch with your people. If you're a coach, if you're into personal development, you want to use it there. You can use it for surveys, coupons, 
absolutely limitless. Any type of business, even if you want to use it for, for, for personal use, if you're doing a family reunion or in charge of your high school reunion, you can keep in contact with people via Let's Socialify.